Even if we don't get a move. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider. Today we're going after some big brook trout. This pond here is known for its big brook trout. You get them up to two pound, two and a half pound. Which is really nice trout for around here. There's also a bunch of little ones in there. But we're open for the big one today. So we're going to spend the next six or seven hours here. Trying for the big brook trout. Might get lucky. Might get skunked. But that's how it goes when you're after the big ones. Anyway, we'll try our luck. A little one here. Oh, well, he's not a great big one like I'm after, but he's a very nice trout. Look at that guy. That's a nice trout. Now, it's not the two pounders we're after, but we'll get the two pounders. Yeah, we got another one down there. Hey, a nice one. Gotta get some bait. Get some more bait here. Oh, nice one. Oh, getting a bit bigger. That's a beauty. Look at that guy. That's a nice brookie. Now, see, can we try that again?
big one. Ah, little guy. Yep. I let him go because I'm after the bigger ones. Ooh, it's getting warm now. Probably that small one again, eating all my bait. Okay, it's 11.30 right now. Time to uh, get some lunch started. I'll go over here and find a good spot so I can just keep a high on my rods right there. So what I'm gonna do is try and uh, get this rack into this tree. So I'll cut the tree and insert the rack into the wood. There. That should hold my kittle and my little pot. Cause today we're having clam chowder. Got a little one here somewhere. <coughs> Check my bait. All right, we're gonna have a bit of clam chowder for lunch. We'll get our tea on the go. Oh. And I fried a few onions. A lot of this old spruce is uh, wet on the outside, but if you can get all the bark off it, it dries out really quickly when you start a fire. And what I did was I, uh, I took my little hand saw and I sharpen it out on the back side so I can use it like a knife or an ax. So all I'm doing here is uh, making a little base for the fire, especially in the winter time. And when these sticks on the bottom get dry, they all become your main fire. So you're essentially burning it from the top down. Get the 
fire going good. Now, we got our onions in here. I don't know if I'm making clam chowder or French onion soup. The key to cooking outside over wood is use small wood for cooking. Use big wood to heat your house and use small wood for cooking. More control. Now we get a few potatoes and get her all boiled up. Ooh, she's warm. Alright, we get our potatoes in there. Now we get our potatoes all boiled up. When they get soft, we'll add our can of clams. Add in our milk and spices. Boom. Clam chowder. Now this is not like what you get in the restaurants. Because this is better. You'll see. Okay. It is really warmed up. It's 12 o'clock right now. I'm waiting for my clam chowder to boil. Not much action here on the rods. We did do good earlier. Three, three trout. I think what we're going to do is drill three more holes and we'll bring them right in closer. Try our luck into the shore. I was following these uh, big old lynx tracks here. I've seen some fur. And all the way over here where it's he or she made a kale. And went down there. It ate everything but the fur. Well, we're getting our potatoes boiled up nicely. Next, we're gonna add our clams and our milk and our spices. Nice can of clams. Baby clams. Okay, we got our potatoes boiled up really soft. 
I won't put all the clams in there because it's too much for my little pot. Yeah. Now I need to scald my milk, but I don't got that luxury today. We'll let that simmer for a while. We'll add our spices. Woo that might be a bit much, but <laughs> who cares? More the better. All right, clam chowder. Let it simmer for a bit. Now we get some tea on the go. I think I'll bring that down to the bottom and boil it a little harder. Boiled tea. Let that steep for a minute. Well, it'll be good to go. Okay, we'll see how we made out here. Our clam chowder. Ooh, warm. I got some cheese for that. I got some raspberries for dessert. Ooh, and a good hot cup of tea. Mm. Perfect. I can watch all my rods here. Fishing's kind of slow now. Okay, we didn't get the big guy we were after, but we did get three nice trout. We didn't get the three pounder we were after. And that's what this lake is like. You might have to come a bunch of time before you get that, that trophy trout. But we had a great day. Beautiful, sunny, zero degrees. 